Hello and welcome to the first tutorial video for Social Deals Engine WooCommerce Edition. Now with the Social Deals Engine for WooCommerce what we've done is taken our normal Social Deals Engine plugin and adapted it specifically for WooCommerce and what this done is made us create a completely unique individual plugin for WooCommerce just because of how WooCommerce works. So this will not work with uh, the normal social deals engine on the same uh, WordPress blog, you have to use it independently. Um, what's also different is after you install the plugin, what's going to happen as, and you activate it, what's going to happen is you're not going to see any special menu for it uh, in your settings at all. What you're going to do is you're going to have to come into your WooCommerce menu, uh, click on the main settings, and what you're going to do is you're going to find the deals tab inside your WooCommerce settings. So that's going to allow you to uh, immediately see that this is integrated right in with uh, WooCommerce. Now, what you're going to get on the main deal options settings page for the social deals engine is just really basic stuff. Um, and it mostly deals with the um, deals homepage that's created uh, with the plugin. Now, you don't have to use the deals page specifically, you can use any page on your blog. Uh, that you want to for it uh, for deals or you don't have to use anything at all you can set this here and then never ever use a deals page on your site if you don't want to um, if you use a caching plugin uh, click on this box like w3 3 total cache or you use uh, WP super cache or whatever what this is going to do is going to make sure that the plugin continues to run effectively uh, when you're even using caching so uh, select that if you're using it. Um, if your theme already has the Twitter Bootstrap framework, if you're using a theme that's already using the Twitter Bootstrap framework, uh, check on this because the, our plugin uh, also uses the Twitter Bootstrap framework for mobile compatibility. But um, if you're already using it, it'll tap into the themes uh, files for that. So it'll continue to be mobile optimized but it'll only need to use one set of files and there won't be any conflicts then, <clears throat> excuse me, by using this. Now, continuing on with features of the deals homepage, um, which will give you a look at the deals homepage real quick. If we go back, a deals homepage uh, look like this. You can use a sidebar, you cannot use a sidebar. Uh, can have a full page here. Your graphics can be whatever you want here. This is an example from uh, one of the people already using the plugin at uh, mindfulminerals.com uh, and they can see their deals here and then you can see we have active deals ending soon deals which both of these deals are ending soon and then upcoming deals which there's no new upcoming deals which means deals that are not set to or scheduled to be launched just yet and uh, what you can do in the settings is you can select to add more you know disable more deals or not you can choose how many deals that are ending soon to show how many upcoming deals to show how many deals to show per page overall uh, and you can really customize it and then we have down here you'll have your social connect button so when you go to uh, you see your deals on the page and you see your social connect buttons uh, for example I'll show you uh, this deal here is using uh, the share and get more discounts feature if I click on like tweet Google Plus the fan page for them what it's going to do is it's going to actually lower the price by a certain amount based on their settings and that'll be shown in a later video but in your base settings here uh, you select what you want to use as far as Facebook Twitter Google Plus your Facebook fan page we recommend you use them all uh, you put your uh, Twitter username in here that you want to associate with these and then of course you put your Facebook fan page URL there that you want to associate with those as well you click on save changes and you're ready to go it's, that's the base setup for the plugin that's all you have to do and then like has already been shown you get your basic WooCommerce pages will have these value this box basically here added to it and then your button here can be customized to say anything you want uh, for your deal as well. So that's the basics of getting started with the Social Deals Engine plugin WooCommerce edition. 
and we'll get on to the next videos here uh, for the plugin in just a minute.